I'm Brody Henderson, Meat Eater Senior Editor and a dyed-in-the-wool Western Big Game Hunter. I've been chasing pronghorn, elk, and mule deer for many years, but I've never hunted wild pigs. Yeah. That's what we're after. Yeah. My friend Alvin Dado, a renowned fly fishing guide from Austin, invited me down to Texas to give it a try. Alvin and I have been trying to hunt together for a long time, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to finally make it happen. I'm excited to hunt a new species, especially one as tasty as wild pigs. But there's a catch. Alvin is one of the most seasoned fly fishing guides in all of Texas, but the only hunting he's ever done was plinking rabbits as a kid. He's taken his hunter safety course and he's been practicing with his rifle. But because we've only got a couple of days to hunt, I'll need to teach him some of the finer points of big game hunting while we're out in the field looking for pigs. An experienced non-local guiding a novice local is not an optimal situation. All this while hunting for an animal I've never even seen in a place where they do things a lot differently than I'm used to. It's going to be a challenge, but it's one Alvin and I are up for. But first, Alvin and I are meeting up at the Yeti flagship store in downtown Austin to speak at a backcountry hunters and anglers event. So I think uh, most of you know or are familiar with our next speaker, but uh, he's one of my dearest friends, so I'm up here to introduce, uh, introduce you to him. Uh, we guided together for many, many years, and uh, we've been talking about doing a hunt together forever, and uh, we're finally making it happen. So that's, that's kind of why I'm here, is to hunt with Alvin, but first you guys got to listen to him talk, so here he is. <laughs> That was short and sweet. The outdoors is my church. I get to have that experience of catching my first fish over and over and over again because of my clients. And it is just, it, it, just, it just keeps me going. But Brody came to town and we're gonna go hunting. I'm gonna go shoot a pig hopefully tomorrow morning and whatever, you know, that's cool. Hopefully it works out. But, but what I have realized is that now I'm getting to feel that thing from the other side and it, and it feels really good. I, I got all those feelings, you know, I was like nervous, excited. And, you know, here's Brody, who's a master at what he does and he's sharing his knowledge with me, and I'm just like, oh man. I could cry right now, because it's, it's just like so amazing. You know, if anything, I, I feel like that is the best thing that any of us can do, is just to help somebody else, whether it's your friend, kids, you know, we're all about getting the kids out there. You know, just, I think the more people we share our love of the outdoors, hunting and fishing with the better. The energy is just, just amazing. It's, it's great to be on the other side of it for a change. So thanks and thank you guys for coming out. Wow, all I can say is thanks. <laughs> all right, man, the morning's finally here. I know, it's been years yeah. in the making. Yeah, you stoked? I'm stoked. You look nervous. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Excited. Yeah, so that's good. We'll get out there and uh, hopefully catch those pigs out in the open while it's still early. We'll try and sneak into range for you. Down and then back to safe. Good? All right. So like anytime I'm coming up to like something that opens up a bunch, a slow way down and find a spot to like get to where you're not exposed and you can like peek around the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause we don't want to just pop out yeah. there right there, you know? So we'll sneak up here. There's 
a deer staring at us. Oh, you see her? Yeah. So I'm just trying to imagine how it's going to go down. I know. We're going to see more. something. Might be a buck chasing a doe. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's what we're after. Yep. <laughs> we just need one that still has some meat attached to it. <laughs> We spend the next several hours still hunting the ranch, and while there's no shortage of wildlife here and plenty of pig sign, the pigs themselves have so far eluded us. It's funny, man, because we're seeing all like the desirable animals, like white tails and turkeys and stuff, and we can't find the undesirable <laughs> animal that everyone hates, you know? <laughs> this is my first pig hunt, I'm already developing some some respect tinged with hatred for them. <laughs> Just when I think we've been skunked for the morning, I catch a flash of a pig darting into the underbrush. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. With the sun getting high, we decided to head back to the ranch house for lunch and to regroup. We saw a lot of wildlife this morning, but only one pig, and he was gone quickly. Man, we hit it hard this morning. It was fun. Yeah, that's all right, though, man. We got, we got an afternoon hunt coming up. Um, got the lay of the land now, which is really, really nice. What, yeah, were, you, what were you expecting? I don't know. You get this image in your, like image in your head of you know texas hunting yeah and uh like high fences and stuff running around everywhere and being easy and you know that's sitting in the blind <laughs> yeah yeah and sitting in a blind's fine man we might try it who knows but yeah. um yeah I, you know it, it's a cool it's cool country it's yeah a, it's a cool property i'm stoked from what i understand this place is managed for white tails, like they're trying to grow big bucks. Yeah. Um, and we saw plenty of deer today and a couple big bucks, but but there's also pigs around, which we're after, and they don't want those around. Yeah, yeah, and that's pretty much the case most places. Yeah. Everybody's wanting to get rid of the, the, the pigs. They're, yeah. you know, they're invasive, they're destructive, and they're so prolific yeah. that, you know, they're, they're, they're a problem. It's good for us, though. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. it hasn't been well. yet, but uh, hopefully it will well, be. Well, su supposedly they're really smart, and from yeah. what I can tell so far, that yeah. is true. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go over to the other side of the ranch where we didn't hunt. Yeah, yeah. Today well. we'll drive over there and uh, get set up somewhere for the evening hunt, and uh, hopefully things be happen. Be ready. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right, awesome. Yep. I'm stoked. Was illegal. Yeah, yeah. taxes. Like, <laughs> what? You're done. That windmill sounds like a, those rumble strips on the highway. 
We spend the rest of the afternoon on this new section of ranch. We cover some ground still hunting for a while. We stop and try a little ambush hunting for a bit. We even try a few more unorthodox techniques. Toss a couple rocks down there and see if anything jumps out. <laughs> Despite our ingenuity, the hogs are nowhere to be found. No. In addition to being a mostly nocturnal animal, I've heard that free-range feral hogs are smart, wary critters. It's starting to paint a picture for me that this might be more of a challenge than I originally anticipated. I came here thinking this was going to be easy. But despite the slow day, our spirits are still high. We've got plenty of time remaining to find a hog. It's a pretty nice sunset. Until then, I'm surrounded by beauty and spending time with a friend. Not a bad day at all. Well, we gave them hell today. <laughs> we did. They gave it right back yeah, to us. <laughs> but uh, tomorrow's another day. Yep. Let's go get some food. Start fresh. So, uh, just got a call. And uh, it looks like we got the uh, the okay for me to shoot a whitetail. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh so, man, that opens up a whole new world of options for us. Sweet. I well, get, that's I cool. The excitement level is ramping up a little bit. Cool, man. <laughs> well, yeah, we should be able to find a deer. Oh yeah, for a lot sure. Of deer out there. I'm still hoping to find some pigs too. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Well, it's getting late. Let's uh, let's grab our gear and get out there. All right. I'm not seeing any sign of a hit. No blood, no hair, and she was running just fine. Yeah. So I'm I'm very comfortable walking away from this deer and going to look for another one. Maybe a pig. Well, it happens, man. I, know, I mean, man. it's a bummer, but it's way better than gimping one up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's. I'm, I, I feel better. Totally missing. Yeah. That's not the kind of scene you expect to see, you know, <laughs> or at least that I expect yeah. to see. There's a lot of that around here. People just don't know. And this, this water's all like spring fed. It's yeah. coming out of the ground. Yeah. It's all coming out of the ground. Getting an animal and getting the meat is, you know, a real important part of hunting. But like this part of it for me, like the exploring part is also 
super cool. You know, you just get to see things you wouldn't see if you weren't hunting. Yeah. I'm getting mad when I see that stuff now. So much for uh, hunting in Texas being easy. <laughs> it's hunting, man. Yeah. Is this different from the, like, when you're deer hunting out west? Is this vastly different or? Yeah. Um, just because you're you're able to glass larger expanses of land and then you know you find a deer or an elk whatever that's half a mile a mile away you can like plan a route to get to them without spooking them yeah out west i wouldn't be walking around too much in the middle of the day trying to just bump animals and, yeah. and get lucky but again like it's a short hunt and you can kill animals doing that. So yeah. we may as well, you know, use the middle of the day just to increase our chances, you know. I think we'll just keep heading that direction. Speaking of hunting techniques, it's been a pretty slow day so far, and I'm starting to wonder if we shouldn't switch up our tactics. We didn't plan on hunting over feeders on this trip, but at this point, I think Alvin and I would both welcome a little action, regardless of the method. I'm wondering with this wind, if we should go over towards that blind, yeah. or be by this blind. Like if that angle, keep, if that we keep that angle, we're okay right here. We're gonna give it a try. Just kind of tuck in there yeah, a little bit. Like... Ideally, they'll come out here to this this feeder, and you'll have a shot that where they're not moving. You know, they're broadside. It's it's just like easier to manage. You know, um, I've never done this before, <laughs> but I'm hoping it works out the way you hear it works out. Yeah. So. We'll get settled in and just just hunt till dark, you know, and hopefully they come in. We'll see that. And who knows, man, maybe some pigs will come in too. Yeah. yeah. We wait for several hours. No deer, no hogs. Only a flock of turkeys returning to roost for the night. You want to go try something else? Yeah. All right, well, let's haul ass if we're going to do it. Feeling restless and running out of daylight, we hustle to an open field where we'd seen deer feeding the day before. But as the day comes to a close, it's Texas 2, Brody 0.
This is the Alvin, this is a scrape from a white tail buck. It's like where they lay down some scent to attract the ladies. You can see his hoof marks in there. And he's keeping it fresh, you know, there's there's not any many leaves on it. But that's not what we're looking for. More evidence of pigs just rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> uh, God, look at this. I know, yeah, it's it's a a big one. That's why people don't like them. I'm starting to think this feral pig problem is like a giant conspiracy theory. <laughs> I swear, it's frustrating. Put on, uh, the, uh... Texas Chamber of Commerce yeah. to bring yeah. hammers down. Just keep after it. What else are we going to do? Yep. We'll hunt this river bottom. It's kind of open in here. And the amount of tracks, like it looks like they're running this river bottom. We're down to our last couple hours, man. It's the last inning. We've established that free range feral pigs are very hard to kill during the day when they're only moving at night. Yeah, yeah. But we still got a chance. We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. <laughs> That sound you just heard is exactly what you think it is. I blew a chance for an easy shot because I didn't have a round chambered in my rifle. A moment that is going to haunt me for a long time. My turn to say it. Don't beat yourself up about it, dude. Yeah, I know. But I'm gonna. <laughs> that was just stupid, man. Dumb mistake. You just witnessed exactly what to not do. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. Uh, I can't believe I did that. It happens to the best of us. And the worst of us. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, we saw some pigs. Yeah, they do exist. <laughs> they do exist. But you had fun. Yeah. You had fun anyway. Yeah, I had a good time. Learned a bunch of stuff. I mean, oh, it's pretty I had, exciting, dude. <laughs> I had visions of uh, smoked wild pork ribs in my head. <laughs> I'm real happy that we don't have wild pigs in Colorado, but I'm real happy that you've got a lot of them here in Texas. <laughs> yeah. You know, life gives you lemons, you gotta make some lemon. <laughs> yeah. Or some pulled pork. Yeah. Was it your time to get that pig? Yep. It just means I have to come back. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>